What's up people, welcome back to the channel. So for today, we're gonna to talk about how to properly load and update your music in Serato. So before I start, do me a huge favor, hit that like button, it's gonna kinda of help my algorithm so more people see this video. If you don't subscribe, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, all that good stuff. Anyway, music management with Serato is definitely pretty daunting, especially if you're not used to it, especially if you're coming from a different program. There's definitely a right and a wrong way to do it, and if you do it the wrong way, there's some serious consequences. So I got a lot of requests for this video, and I figured I'd sit down with you and kind of walk you through step-by-step step really quickly how to properly load crates and how to load your music, how to properly update your music in Serato so you're never gonna have a problem. You don't have to worry about it crashing or like, your song's not showing up or whatever. It'll be easy peasy, just follow these steps. So for the example, I made a folder here called Hot Fire Bangers. Um, just to reiterate, this folder is completely filled with nothing but MP3s, right? So we got what, 20 or whatever MP3s in here. I'm gonna just drag this on my hard drive, right? Because that's where I keep all my music. If you keep it on your desktop, you keep it on your computer, then you just keep it there, whatever. But I'm gonna drag it on my hard drive, it's where I keep my music. And I'm gonna come over here to Serato. So I wanna load I basically want to load this new folder of hot fire bangers, right? So I'm going to go into files. I'm going to go to Lacey, right? That's my hard drive. And I'm going to scroll down to that folder, hot fire bangers. And then because this folder in particular is filled with nothing but MP3s, I'm going to drag this right over here on the bottom there. Serato is going to read it and create a crate named after that folder. And it's going to load all the songs quick, right? So then when we click on here, bang, all the music shows up right away because it's everything that's in that folder. Now, the next step after doing this is basically gonna be you wanna scan everything. So you wanna basically highlight all of them like that, right? So hold down shift or whatever, highlight all of them, and then you wanna drag all the files right here to analyze files and make sure Serato analyzes all of them. Serato will then go through and analyze each one. It's gonna give you the bit rate, the length, the key, all the good stuff, make sure it's all set. It'll detect whether or not any files are corrupt and that'll show up as a little lightning bolt over here. So if you have any problems or anything, you know, obviously it'll show up so you can delete the files correctly. So now they're all scanned. We're like one away, bam, bam, bam. And then we're good. I got myself a new folder, a new crate. Uh, full of music that I can use to DJ. You're good to go at that point. Now you wanna repeat those steps over and over again with your hard drive, right? So if you have a hard drive full of all these different folders, you go through each folder, make sure you're dragging the ones that only have music in them, right? And you drag them all there, and then you organize it as crates on the side here on Serato, right? So you repeat the step, and then you analyze your entire hard drive, right? By dragging the music, right? So if you wanna wait to the end, you can literally go to all audio, here and then like select all the audio and drag it and analyze and let it run for a couple hours or whatever, but that's the correct way to do it. Now, if you wanna update, right? So let's say like, all right, your whole hard drive's loaded, right? You've been using Serato now, but you wanna update, you just got some new music. So we're gonna go back to my desktop here and I'm going to go to my music folder here and under update, I got four new songs, right? What I wanna do is I wanna put those in my hot fire bangers because these are hot fire bangers. So I'm gonna take these four songs and I'm gonna drag it over here to the hot fire bangers folder on my hard drive. So I just added those four songs to hot fire bangers, bam. Now they're in there. If I wanna update, now I go up here to Serato, go to files again. So go to files, go to Lacey, and then go back to hot fire bangers. And I take that same folder and I just drag this over top the other Hot Fire Bangers folder. What Serato is gonna do is it's gonna go through that folder again, it's gonna realize what songs they already loaded, and then it's just gonna pick out what songs it hasn't loaded before, the new songs that are in there, and then it's gonna load it in there for you. So then, if you do the date added, which is what I usually do, so because it goes by time and stuff, maybe this will, yeah, so it does go by time here. So I, I organized it by date added to the right, and then I can see which ones I just loaded, right? So it's these four songs that we just loaded. These four songs, you wanna just grab these four songs, analyze them, make sure you're good, right? So they're gonna analyze, and then you're good to go. You just updated your hard drive. Now, I keep an update folder, right? So I have a crate that just says like update and then as I add new music, I'll put it in there for now and then you can like work on like organizing it however you want later. There's a bunch of different ways to do this but that is the correct way 
to update and to load crates. So the first step of music management with Serato is having your hard drive set up the right way. The thing with Serato is, is you're gonna be loading folder by folder. And when you drag a folder to make a crate on Serato, that folder has to be filled with 100% MP3s. You can't have anything else or MP4, I guess, video files, but anything else you cannot have. You can't have a Word document in there that you saved for some reason. You can't have your old homework from whatever. You can't have a program file or a zip file or anything else, folders inside of folders. You can't have any of that. You just have to have a folder full of MP3s or MP4s or whatever you're loading in there, like whatever your music is, when you drag it onto Serato. So for example, if you have a rock folder, right? But then within that rock folder, you have it broken down into subfolders, right? So then you have classic rock and metal and whatever else, right? You got all those other folders. Then if you wanna load that into Serato, you have to load it by the subfolders, assuming that those subfolders contain nothing but music. Drag classic rock over, drag modern rock and metal and all those folders over, load them, then create a new crate within Serato called rock and put those underneath and then you're good and then they'll all load. So that's a big, big misconception that a lot of people get wrong. When you have these huge hard drives, you're used to like Virtual DJ or whatever other program, kind of just recognize them right away. Serato doesn't work like that. And when you just load a folder that has all this junk in it, you're gonna blow this program up. You're gonna blow your computer up. You can't do that. So you have to make sure your stuff is organized. So before you even start diving into Serato and all that, I recommend going through and reorganizing everything and make sure it's like all set up, you know, like how you want it, right? Have your subfolders, have whatever, whatever your system is, have it all set up, but make sure every folder contains only music or only music videos, whatever you're using to DJ and nothing else. No fluff, no garbage, nothing. Do not drag your whole hard drive at once either. Do one folder at a time. Just, it's meticulous. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass. I get it. But the way Serato does it is just a little more thorough than the other DJ programs, in my opinion. And it's just the way you have to do it, you know? And I really, I prefer Serato. I like the DJ with it. So what if it, it takes me a little extra time to like load my crates and, you know, update my music and make sure everything's perfect. It is what it is. It's just a part of the game. This is how it works. So for those of you that are switching or wanted to switch and got frustrated or like wasn't sure how to do all this, just follow these steps. You'll be good to go. Uh, if you need any other tip videos or anything like that, um, put them in the comments, anything I missed, or if you have any questions, put it in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them, and uh, I'll be coming out with plenty of other stuff. So subscribe, stay tuned, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate it, guys. Later.